Hello you guys, I am back in the car. Another day, another vlog coming at ya. I have this huge thing, you can't even see it. It's like this bin full of stuff that I need to return slash exchange. Um, so today I am going to College Station, um, which I think I explained in my last vlog, which we didn't even end up going to College Station, but whatever. Um, is like the next town over from where I live. And um, I need to get stocking stuffers for my mom and Adam's mom. Um, and then I need to get a different dog food container. This one's way too small. Um, I need to see if there's a Best Buy there. I need another memory card for my camera. So I don't know. Just like little stuff. Probably gonna get some Chick-fil-A, which I'm so pumped about. Um, so yeah, I tried to see if my mom wanted to come. I wanted her to be in the vlog, but she is busy today. So just gonna do a little day trip by myself. Um, I think it'll be good for me to just put work away today um and then i'm gonna try to be back by like three it's 11 right now and it takes like 30 to 40 minutes to get there i think that that's i mean there i don't have that much stuff to get really mainly the bulk of it is going to be the stocking suppers which i have no idea like what stocking suppers i'm even going to get for my mom i have a list for adam's mom but my mom is so hard to shop for for stocking stuffers. I usually just get like travel size stuff from like Ulta, but I don't know. I feel like I want to be more creative. So I might go to some like little boutiques and shop small and see what I can find. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. So let's get it. Let's go Christmas shopping. Also got this super cute sweatshirt from Pink Lily. It says Merry and Bright. I'm, wow, this lighting, lighting is crazy. Why is it so dark? Oh, I am super excited to go Christmas shopping, get out of Britain for the day. Um, and like I said, just put work away. So let's get it, ladies. Okay, got my Chick-fil-A. So funny because Chick-fil-A, I'm sure most of you guys know, they're not letting you like sit inside still. Um, so this Chick-fil-A that I'm at is always like so busy and literally everyone is just like sitting in their car <laughs> eating their Chick-fil-A. Always get the um, grilled chicken club with a medium Coke and a medium fry. I don't always get Coke. That's kind of like a new thing that I've been doing. I've just been loving Coke lately. Um, Adam's going to be like, oh really? Because I get on his butt about drinking soda all the time <laughs> um but yeah i get this like grilled chicken club oh my god it's literally the best thing ever if you've never had it and then obviously fries i really actually want to try the mac and cheese but i just you know how do you like not get fries when you go to chick-fil-a and like i'm not gonna get both you know i mean i guess i could but like it's only if i'm like pigging out and like I only get Chick-fil-A when I come to a town like this because we don't have one in my hometown. So I have to get the fries. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Comment down below. What do you get from Chick-fil-A? I, like I said, I get the grilled chicken club, I get fries, and then I get a honey mustard and a Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, yeah. So I am gonna make my list of like the stuff that I want to get today. That way I just kind of like stay on track. Um, but yeah, I just don't wanna be like wandering around being like, wait, what did I need? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna make that list. I'm gonna eat my food. I need to get on Instagram stories. Um, yeah, I will catch up you guys. My first stop I think is gonna be Target cause it's just right over there to exchange the dog food container, so.
guys what the heck it has been so cold like for the last few weeks and it is now like almost 80 degrees outside like i'm sweating in this sweatshirt and it was like freezing this morning what the heck okay i just went into home goods and i've got to throw this chick-fil-a bag away at my next stop because it smells so bad went to home goods got some stocking stuffers and some stuff for the puppy um maybe i'll do like a puppy haul in this vlog because you guys i asked you guys on instagram and for a sit down video you said you wanted to see um like cozy christmas favorites so hopefully i can get that filmed maybe this weekend at some point i wanted to do it today i just don't think i'm gonna have time but i returned a couple things at home goods ended up walking around getting some random stuff found some really cute masks for stocking stuffers because 2020 you know um but yeah i need to go to target next i think is what i'm gonna do i'm trying to think what else is right here um that i said i was gonna go to but i think i'm gonna hit up target um i didn't end up i need to make my list of what I'm gonna get Adam's mom for stocking stuffers. Um, I doubt she's watching this. But I got her, like, actually, I don't wanna say it because I know she watches my Instagram, so I don't know if she's like watching these too. I wanna, like, I need like a tripod to set this on that won't like fall down, but I'll just try to drive with you guys over to Target. Um, if you live around here in College Station, you know that like I just feel like everything's like so spread out and it takes forever to get to everything you know what I mean um so I'm kind of like trying to go in order it's just kind of like difficult because like everything is just so spread out that's what I like about Cypress specifically um there's like a whole shopping strip with like home goods Kirkland's Hobby Lobby like it's all right there Target's right there um, but here there's like two different targets. So if this one doesn't have what I'm looking for, specifically I'm returning this like dog food bin that I got. I don't know if I said that. Um, because Adam's parents own a feed store. So when we get the puppy, the breeder's sending a bag of food with us, I think. But then, um, we'll get her food from his dad's feed store because he can get it for us. And his dad like knows all about that stuff. I mean, he owns the store obviously. But apparently the bags that he gets are like 40 pound bags. And so I'm like, Jesus Christ. And all the dog food containers I'm seeing are like 20 to 25 pounds um, is what they can hold. So I need to see if Target has any bigger ones. They're just like, honestly, the bins are ridiculously expensive for what they are. Like it's literally, you guys are gonna fall. Oh my gosh um it's literally a plastic bin with a lid to hold dog food and they're like $30 I'm like literally what so I don't know if there's like an alternative I could get it's not that expensive I don't need like some huge thing though because I can't fit that in my house this is my dilemma and honestly chewy.com has what I was kind of looking for but like I said it's like $30 so I'm trying to see if there's cheaper alternatives I might have to run back over here and look at like Petco or PetSmart or something um, I'm just trying to think like what's what could I put dog food in that like may, might be cheaper I don't know and I don't want to just leave it in the bag because I want it to be in like an airtight like sealed bin so it stays good you know what I mean I found a really cute one at home goods and it was like cream like yellowy colored and the top was wooden it had a little bone on the top and you just like pop the lid off but it didn't seem that tight and it was pretty small like this is don't worry the light is red this is the one that I got from Target ignore the Macy's bag inside and like it looks normal like a normal size for normal dog food but supposedly Adam's dad doesn't get the 25 pound bags or 20 pound or whatever so that's my dilemma there I'm good today's Wednesday I don't know if I've said that and so like all the kids and stuff are in school and home goods was like dead so it was like literally so nice I think I got some footage just got to like browse and chill and smell the candles and not have to worry about if I was in someone's way sorry I knew y'all were gonna fall so I had to take it down 
Um, I wish I needed gas because I would go to H-E-B here and get gas. Um, our H-E-B in Burnham doesn't have gas pumps, but H-E-B gas is a little bit cheaper than some of the other places. If you live in Texas, pro tip, H-E-B and Bucky's gas is usually always cheaper. Um, even when gas prices are higher, it's usually always cheaper. So if you have that near you or you can stop somewhere, definitely do that. Um, but I know kind of like all gas prices are low right now. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down, finish driving to Target, and I'll show you guys around Target. Hopefully we stay on track. Also, I bought that bin with a gift card, so hopefully they let me return it. And they didn't send me a packing slip, so I don't know. You guys, I could not vlog in Target. There was so many people in there. Um, where did I park? Oh my gosh, I'm not even on the right row. I'm a mess. But there were so many people in there. I didn't really even get that much or find that much. I found this really cute um, tote bag that I wanted. But we're only getting the essentials today. My nose is just so bad. Um, I did not find a bigger dog food bin. I got a couple like random stocking stuffers for Adam's mom and a um, doll or a, I'm like, I can't speak. A bag of cat food for Kitty. Oh my God, it is so hot. I need like shorts, like literally what the hell? Why is it so hot outside? I got. I got myself some toothpaste. Yay. That's super fun. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the mall or maybe yeah. I'm gonna go to the mall and then I'll go to that boutique and then I'm like pretty much done for the day. I can't decide. I might run into TJ Maxx while I'm by the mall and just see what they have as far as the dog food containers go, but I feel like for the most part, I'm literally just gonna tell Adam and be like, look, you need to um, get one because, I don't know, I'm gonna like make him go to like tractor supply or something, I guess. I just like don't know what to get. And actual dog food containers, like I said, are just so like stupid expensive. So I don't know. Um, I just got like so tired all of a sudden too. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drive over to the mall slash TJ Maxx. Hopefully I'll film more in there. I just like could not film in Target because I was sweating the whole time and there was way too many people. So, we'll see you at the mall. Okay, I just got home. Um... From shopping, I'm filling up my water bottle now. I threw on some sweats. I'll show you guys. I got them at H&M today. Um, I wasn't really supposed to get anything for myself, but I've just been really into like oversized sweats and sweatshirts. I feel like my style has been changing lately. Um, it's like weird because I go back and forth between wanting to be like trendy and all of that or wanting to be um like not i wouldn't say like western but like i don't know like trendy western like maybe like more edgy i don't know my style's just been like i don't really know what it is lately <laughs> that's a little haul um sort of but i wanted to show you guys these sweatpants so as you can see they're literally oversized i'm so glad i got a medium normally in sweatpants like this i get a large but these are literally huge you guys like i have them so cinched and like honestly i could probably roll them up too because they're just like huge but they're so cozy comfy i love them they have pockets um yeah i work from home a lot as you guys probably know so this whole outfit is just a mood I really wanted like a plain black sweatshirt not like a hoodie but like a crew neck um, and these are from H&M they were like 17 bucks but they didn't have any they had plain black hoodies but not crew necks um, I also got 
I don't know if you can see them. I have to flip the camera around. They are like little like gold huggy earrings. And I love them. I got them in a pack at H&M and there's like a bigger size too. And um, those were like $6 I think. Um, I'm watching Rachel Ratke if you don't watch her. Literally, she's like a new discovery for me. She hasn't been YouTube for a YouTuber for that long. Maybe like two or three years. Maybe longer. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, I wanted to set you guys up because I want to do a puppy haul. We're in front of the window for good lighting. Um, I'm going to take a thumbnail of this, actually. Okay. <laughs> Got the thumbnail. Um, okay. I wanted to do a puppy haul. I am vlogging, so I think I'm going to include this in the vlog if it doesn't get too long. I'm going to try to speed through it. Um, you guys voted that the sit down video you want is um, Cozy Christmas Favorites, which I'm definitely going to hopefully do this weekend, but I just really want to do a puppy haul because I'm so excited. So I'm going to do a puppy haul, and I'm going to try to include it in this vlog. Um, okay, so the first thing I got is... By the way, there's some stuff I'm not showing because it's like in the kitchen and it's like bigger or whatever, like her bowls and stuff like that. Um, if you don't know, Adam and I are getting a puppy in January, um, January 9th, so in exactly a month we're getting a dog. Um, we are getting a golden retriever and I'll just go ahead and say her name. It's not like it's like a child or anything. Um, we are naming her Jessie, J-E-S-S-I. We are so, so excited. We have wanted to do this for like two years now and we are finally getting her. Um, and I just can't wait. I feel like it's gonna be really good for me like with all of my anxiety and stuff like that. So I literally, I just cannot wait to get a little fluffy puppy. So first thing I got for her is this throw blanket. I know that seems stupid, but um, Adam's cousin, they have a golden retriever and they were saying all he wants to play with is like soft blankets like this. And I just thought like when we go pick her up, we can take this with her. Um, by the way, everything is from like Home Goods and TJ Maxx pretty much. That's where you need to go if you get a dog and Amazon. But this was $14.99. We also got her a crate. I'll insert a photo somewhere on the screen. Um, we got it from Walmart and it was pretty affordable, more affordable than like Chewy.com, Amazon, and definitely more affordable than like PetSmart and Petco. So definitely look on Walmart. We got one. It's like an extra large. I thought it was a large, but it was an, it's an extra large, which is literally huge. Um, but we got one with a divider. So it'll like grow with her, which is really, really nice. Um, next thing I got her today, actually... I didn't have any sort of like training treats for her, which I wanted to get. So I got these two. I got this one. Um, these are just soft and tender treats with lamb from Nutrisource. And these were $2.99. And then these skinny minis. I like that these were only three calories per treat. Um, and then these are rotisserie chicken flavored. There's just not that many in the bag, but oh well. Um, so I got those for her. This is going to be a huge mess for me to clean up. Um, the next thing I got, also the next video you're going to see, I'm probably going to be wearing this sweatshirt again, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, honestly, probably this exact same outfit, if we're just being honest. We both got one of these. Um, by the way, Adam and I got all this stuff, like, together for her. It's not just my dog, it's his dog, too. Um, these go in your back seat, so it's like a hammock. This is mainly for when she's older. Um, just to like keep the shedding all contained and like honestly just to keep her safe because you can see like this zips so she can't jump in the front seat that has happened to me before while I'm driving and it's literally terrifying. Um, today I also got her some balls. She didn't have any like tennis balls so I got these at Home Goods. They were kind of pricey. I probably wouldn't get them there again. Next time I'll probably just go to Academy but I just decided to pick them up. Um... This I got from Target, literally so cute. I had a gift card, so I got this for her. I don't know how much it was, but it's they have like a lot of the Bark Box stuff, which is so cute, and it's just a squeaky coffee toy, which is literally adorable. Um, and then I got these from Target as well because of the gift card. I got these for when she's like a puppy puppy for teething. Um, I'm seeing if they smell like bacon, but I just thought these would be good for her because they're really durable and hard. I'm like terrified of her like breaking stuff off and like swallowing it. So I thought these would be good. 
Um, next, I got these at TJ Maxx, which literally they have these at Home Goods and TJ Maxx every time. So definitely get these because they're more. They're like ten bucks from like Chewy.com. So definitely get them there. They are puppy teething rings. Um, I've heard these are great for when they're puppies, but if you have like a tough chewer dog, which is what we're gonna have since it's, she's a golden, um, the older they get, the quicker they eat them. So I'm just really gonna try to use these when she's a puppy to like keep her entertained and for teething, obviously. Next thing I got at TJ Maxx um, is just this little like yarn ball that's like really tough and durable um, for when she's a little bit older because it's kind of big. Kitty's here. He wants to say hi. Hi. Um, she always sniffs around in Jessie's stuff and she's like, what is that? She has no idea. Um, this collar I thought was so cute. It's leather. Well, faux leather, I guess, with like gold detailing is from Amazon. And I want to say it was like under 10 bucks, which is super good. And then I got this um dog tag customized on Etsy. I won't show you the back because it has my phone number, but um, <sighs> the cat just jumped up here on the windowsill and almost knocked down my full water. Anyways, you can see maybe it says Jessie and it's just so cute and it came really quick. Sometimes stuff from Etsy takes forever. Um, and then we got two big packs at Ross um, of like this is specifically like ear and eye wipes but i just call them like grooming wipes um mainly for like her paws and her legs if she's like playing outside or going on walks um or just for me to like keep in the car if we go somewhere just so she's not getting like her muddy paws everywhere because goldens are big dogs and they tend to get dirty because they play outside a lot um so i just thought these would be super good for that this one is like kind of messed up whatever um but yeah we just got two packs of those and these were like both four dollars so definitely get them on there because they're really expensive on amazon um and then i just got this from target just to see if she likes them i've heard these are like lifesavers with dogs like golden retrievers and golden doodles and stuff these are bully sticks i just got the small ones mainly for when she's a puppy um so if she likes them um i'll get more they're just pretty expensive for treats so i just wanted to get a small pack um i'm sorry i'm saying um so much next <laughs> we got um i'm literally so bad at this you guys i keep saying um and i'm trying to hurry we got poop bags and it also comes with a container. We got these at Home Goods. These are a necessity, obviously, 13 bucks, and it has 360 bags. Um, I guess I don't know if that's like total or if that's like per roll. But hey, what are you eating? Oh my god, it's a mess. Anyways, so yeah, we just we just got that. Nothing interesting about food bags. Super fun there. And then this is the first toy I picked out for her, actually. It's just a bunny, and I just think it's so cute. And it has a squeaker, and then the ears make, like, the crinkle noise. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And honestly, a lot of people that I've, like, watched videos and stuff like that say that their goldens like the soft toys. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got this from Home Goods. It's just a little rosé, and it has water bottle in it and you can like replace the water bottle if you ever need to and it's a squeaker i just thought that was so cute um they do come in like a three pack from tj maxx so this is i feel like going to be a necessity adam didn't really agree with me but a lot of other people were like uh yeah you need one of those so this is a collapsible bowl set that you can like literally just throw in your purse collapse it down I'm going to take this with us when we go pick her up because we have to go to Lubbock, which is like literally eight hours from me. Um, and it also, I'm trying to see, there's these things on the bottom that you can flip and it makes it to where you can't like bend the bowl. Um, so it keeps it from collapsing while you're actually using it. Um, so I am, now I can't get it. There we go. So I am super excited about this and I think that's going to be really helpful because um, I do want to like take her a lot of places. I want her to be a very social dog, especially since I live alone. I want her to be out and about and I want her to like meet people and other dogs. 
So then next I got these greenies. These are dental treats. By the way, all of this stuff is at my house because the dog's going to live with me. Just wanted to say that. Um, these, my best friend is a vet tech and she said these are great. Kind of pricey. Um, 17 bucks for this, but it's a big bag and they can pair it like almost 30 bucks. So not super bad, but she said these are great. So we'll see if Jessie likes those. So like weird to say her name and she's like not here yet. Uh, next, Adam's mom got us these, literally the cutest thing ever. She also got us a little ball toy, but that's at their house. Um, a little donut. I'm obsessed with donuts. Literally obsessed. My high school graduation party was donut themed. And then a little taco and a little pizza. And these are going to be so good for when she's a puppy because I feel like I have really big toys for her. So these are going to be perfect. So Patty, if you're watching this, thank you. Uh, and then... Now I'm not saying um, I'm just saying uh. We got her, found this at TJ Maxx, a little donut. Adam's sister's dog has one of these, and I knew I wanted one. It's literally so cute. You can literally find those anywhere, too. And then we got her a puppy Kong. These are just, honestly, if you know anything about dogs and dog toys, Kong is the way to go. We can fill it with peanut butter treats. You can freeze them, and it keeps them occupied for a long time. These are the best. And I wanted the pink one, of course. And then we found this. These are like the only two things that we got at Petco. Because I can't really ever find them at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. This is Kong too. Um, and it's just like a tug of war toy, which will be good for when she's a puppy, like for the size of it. Uh, my best friend who's the vet tech was telling us to stay away from the stuff that has like the like little pieces of rope. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, because it can like really like get stuck inside of them and that's just like an accident waiting to happen my mom is calling me hold on hello are you back yeah you're interrupting my puppy haul on my vlog oh my god what um okay sorry my mom called so the next thing i got so I thought this was a duck when I bought it in store. I mean, like to me, it kind of looks like a duck, but then I was showing it on Instagram and my brother-in-law DM me and he's like, that's a platypus. And now I think it's a platypus. But regardless, we got her a duck slash platypus and this is good because it's smaller too and it squeaks. Um, I don't know how much I'm honestly going to let her play with this because of like this stuff on top but I think for when she's like a brand new puppy it'll be okay um next I'm so sorry for what I keep saying I'm really trying you guys <laughs> next Adam and I really liked this we thought this was cool we got this at TJ Maxx and it's just this huge rope toy and it's like super durable feeling because he wanted like specifically stuff for her to play tug of war with um so we got this, and I just think this is really cool because she can use the tiny side when she's a puppy. So I thought that would be good. And then, y'all, there's so much stuff down here. I didn't realize how much stuff we have for her. So a lot of this stuff that I'm about to show is actually from Amazon, and this specifically I'm so excited about. These are from the brand. They're dog bandanas, and they're from the band, brand Remy Roo on Amazon which they just have the cutest stuff um, for dogs. So I got the small, just really to use these like for pictures when she's a puppy, but I got this rainbow one and I just think they're such good quality and I love the leather little patch um, with their company name on it. So I can just tie this around her. I think it's gonna be so cute. And then I got this little green one and then this like mauve colored one with the little floral pattern it's so cute and then i really love this one um just like white and green and like orangey pink florals i think the rainbow and the green are really my favorite so i got those and they come in this nice little bag with their brand name on it so definitely support them if you can because they just have really good quality stuff and like I said, she'll only really use, like, wear those for photos, honestly. I just thought they were fun. You know, you gotta get the fun stuff sometimes. And then I got this Burt's Bees 2-in-1 Tearless Shampoo and Conditioner from Amazon. Um, and then I also got my chin. It's just so bad. And this is specifically for puppies. 
Then I got this detangling spray because I know as her coat gets longer, um, it's going to be harder to brush her out. So I got those. And then we got this training leash, which I've heard these are really good. Adam really wanted to get one of these. Um, so basically it's like a slip leash, so it just gets bigger and smaller. So when you're walking them, you put this over their neck and if they pull, it automatically gets tighter and it teaches them, it doesn't choke them or anything, but it teaches them not to pull ahead of you, um, and kind of stops them from doing that. So I don't know. I got this pink color with the leather detail to match her collar. Adam didn't want me to get too girly of stuff. If it would have been up to me, she would be in all pink everything all the time. Next, I got this brush. I've heard that these are a must. You literally can like push it and release the hair. I don't know how much we're, we're going to use this when she's a puppy. I feel like we need almost like a normal like wet brush. Honestly, I'll probably grab one of those at some point. But I just thought this was cool. And this is way cheaper on Amazon. And then we got two of these seat belts. Um, so this kind of goes with the car hammock. So basically you clip this into a seat belt clip and then you attach this side to her collar and it holds her in and then they're adjustable as well. So you can make it shorter or longer. So she can still have the window down and look out the window, but she can't try to get out. Um, she can't try to jump forward. It just keeps her safe. So I got one for my car and one for Adam's truck and then last but not least I got this really cute leash on Amazon I just wanted a normal one as well just for like when we take her out to go potty or just like little things like that um, And this one has like the leather detailing on it and it's just like a white ivory color with a really nice metal clasp so that is pretty much everything I got her. Yeah, I think so. Oh, the dog tag came with little bells too, which I thought was cute. But that's pretty much everything we got her. We did get her a, um, what's it called? A treat jar that's in my kitchen from Home Goods. And then we got her a bowl, like set stand thing. It's a, it's like elevated and it's in a wooden thing and it's like metal bowls inside of there, if that makes sense. So we got her that and then the breeder is sending dog food with us. So yeah, we're so excited. The breeder has been sending us photos and pictures. So follow me on Instagram if you're not because I always post. Um, I just said photos and pictures. I always post the photos and like videos and stuff that we get on there. They're just so cute and I can't believe like how big she is already. It's literally insane. So I'm going to put all of this stuff back up. Literally, look at this. It's like everywhere. I'm covered in dog stuff. But I just can't wait. This is going to be our first puppy together. This is going to be my first puppy that I'm like really raising. Um, like not, well not living in my mom's house. So I'm so excited. I've always had dogs growing up. Um. But ever since I was like a freshman in college, or not freshman, a sophomore in college, I have wanted this dog. So we are just feeling so blessed and so excited. And I really just feel like she, like I said, I just really feel like she's going to be good for me. And, and Kitty's going to have a friend. I've been kind of nervous about how Kitty's going to act. If you don't know, Kitty is my first baby. My mom found her on the side of the road and brought her home to me. I wanted a cat so bad. And she's my girl. She sleeps with me every night. She's my little shadow. Um, and I've been a little nervous about how she's going to react just because it's always been like just her and I. Um, but she has been around like my family dogs and did live with my family dogs obviously for a while. And I think she's actually really going to like having a puppy around because she doesn't really have anyone to interact with right now. Um, and she's actually a very social cat. So I think she's really gonna like it right right <laughs> she's like no get away from me i think at first she's definitely gonna be like uh who the heck are you but hopefully after that oh i can show y'all her bed y'all oh jeez, i'm gonna fall over everything y'all need to hop on this because we found this bed at academy actually for $20, we 
which is so affordable for a dog bed. Um, we do plan on getting her probably a nicer bed one day. Just while she's a puppy, they tend to tear that stuff up. Um, but I do kind of want to train her to lay on her bed because I have a really small couch. So we got this bed from Academy. It's fluffy and cozy. Um, it's not like exactly what I wanted, but it is really good. And it unzips so you can wash the outside. And it's just really like soft. I feel like all the ones that I was feeling like at Home Goods were just not like cozy and soft. Um, and we found one at PetSmart that we really, or at Petco, that we really wanted, but it was so incredibly expensive, so we didn't get it. It's like almost $100. So for now, while she's a puppy, we got a cheaper one. Um, there's like cat in my mouth now. Um, so that in, if, she, if she tears it up, it's not a big deal. Obviously, we don't want her to tear it up, but if she does, not a huge deal. But we really, I think, want to train her, especially as she gets older and bigger, to be a good girl and lay on her bed and not necessarily be all over the furniture all the time. I guess I'll just show you guys the bowl and stuff too. Um, we got her this bowl set, which I love, it's so pretty. TJ Maxx, 19 bucks, I'm pretty sure it was. And then it has this cute little paw and it comes with these metal bowls, which these are actually like a pretty good size. Um, and I like that they come out because we can travel with them as well. I really want the Yeti dog bowls, but that's a little excessive. And then we got Kitty also always puts her cat food all over the ground. Don't you? Um, oh, this is the treat jar we got her. It's so cute. It just says woof. And it has like a seal on it so that it stays airtight, which I'm not going to like... Um, dump the treats in there at all. I'm going to leave them in the bag just because they're different types of treats and I just don't want them like floating all around in there. But yeah, I'm going to clean all of this stuff up now. I almost just fell over. And um, I think, I don't know. I can't decide if I'm going to end this vlog. May or may not vlog at grandma's for the gift baskets. If I don't, I will see you guys in another vlog.